Hey, it's your boy Picante Nino coming at you with another video today. Today we're going to be talking about New Zerker Tech. Well, it's technically not New Zerker Tech, but it's been around for a while. And it has to do with our selected skill enhancements on our Awakening Tree. And what I mean by that is the core skills specifically when it comes to Blasting, Ground Lift, Titan Blow, Flame Buster, Seismic, and Devastation. So we're going to be looking at the skill specifically core ground lifting. I know everyone and their mother takes a core titan blow because it gives you that fat frontal block whenever you are just ranging down people. And it's really good for, you know, Node Wars or Red Battlefield. But when you go into like AOS or 1v1s, you're going to want to take core ground lifting. And I'm going to explain to you in this video why. So core ground lifting... That tech has been, well, I wouldn't say exploited, but it's being used more now often because of AOS. And a lot of these Zerkers that are up there in the high ranks of AOS, they're all running core ground lifting. And it doesn't make sense that people are running core ground lifting because it really doesn't give us that much. So I'm going to explain to you why we're using core ground lifting in this video. So let's just jump into it. <laughs> Okay, so now let's look into ground lifting. We look at the core ground lifting, the one that all these Zerkers are taking in the high ranks of AOS. And now let's just break it down. So the core ground lifting basically gives super armor when the skill is off of cooldown. So right now, my ground lifting is off of cooldown, so I should expect to see a super armor whenever I cancel into it. It is a super armor, but you're like, damn, Vicante, that's like a really quick super armor. How are you going to... You know, use that effectively whenever you're fighting against multiple people, right? It kind of seems useless to have that short of a... What's that called? A super arm, right? But here's where it gets a little bit dumb. I don't know if you guys have looked down here, but I actually did hotbar my ground lifting, okay? So make sure you hotbar your ground lifting, and let's only press the hotbar from ground lifting. So I'm going to put my things up so you guys don't... So you guys know that I'm not cheating, right? So you go here, you see how much the super armor lasts now? It's like five times more than the original one. So it's actually pretty wild that if we like cancel into the super armor from that, it's very quick. It's very quick. But if you actually just like press it from hotbar, it actually lasts a decent amount of time. Right? So you can honestly just like go here, throw a slugfest, and then linger it into that and do that. You see how there's no gaps? So that's actually a really good like filler skill to link together very safe skills without any gaps. So usually as Zerkers we link together skills back to back to back but they have very very small gaps. Our ground lift on hotbar basically lingers the super armor into the next skill but by a little bit and just enough to the point where we could actually have a continuous string of super armor so there's no gaps. So, good example, you know, Slugfest into, you know, Hot Bar, Ground Lift into Lava Piercer. You see how smooth that was? There is no gaps in the, the Super Armors right there. But that's not the exact reason why these Zerkers are running the, the Ground Lift. So we actually look at Ground Lift. Ground Lift is split into two parts, okay? So we actually look at the beginning of the skill where it says Attack Damage times 2. And then it says Extra Attack Damage times 2. So that means that the skill is split into two parts with two hits each, with two hits each, totaling of four total hits, okay? If we actually go to where it says uh, on extra attack hits, there's a down attack. So that means that, I mean, there's a floating on the extra hits, okay? And it says there's a stiffness on all the hits. So that means each hit of ground lift, which is all four hits, are stiffening. How many of you guys notice that we have a stiffen on ground lift? Raise your hand. Raise your hand. I don't know. I never actually see it come out. So I always see the ground lift always do the floating, right? So we go here, right? And we just floated him from the cancellation of ground lift. But the thing is, is that why is ground lift split into two halves? You know, the first half only doing stiffen and then the second half doing floating. That's a little bit weird, right? That's very weird. So the only reason that we never notice the floating on, I mean, the stiffness on ground lift is because whenever you CC someone, there's a hierarchy of 
CCs that take place. And if one CC gets resisted, the other one's gonna go through. So whenever you have a skill that has a stiffness and a floating attached to it, it applies the harder CC first. If that one has priority. So since the floating has priority over stiffness, it's always gonna do the floating, so you never see the stiffness come out. So whenever you do ground lift right here and you cancel into it, you never see the stiffness. You never see the stiffness, right? But if I cancel it right here and I make the floating miss because floating has like a certain amount of area that it could go, I'm gonna get a stiffness right here. So I cancel in, I get a stiffness. You see how these two got stiffened right here? That is exactly what I'm talking about. And this is why these Zerkers are running the, the hot bar right here because if you guys notice that whenever you cancel in to ground lifting from any skill, you know how you can cancel into ground lifting from any major skill? It only throws out two hits. Only throws out two hits, as you guys can see right there. So only throws out two hits. One, two. And that's like, okay, well, you only get two hits of stiffen, but it's always going to be a float, which is actually the same as regular, right? But if you actually throw the hot bar version of ground lift, Okay, it's gonna do four hits. It's gonna do four hits. One, two, three, four. You guys see that? That is wild. And I know you guys are like, whoa, it's only four hits. That's so little hits. Let me put this into perspective for you guys. If you guys go over here and we see Feral Stampede, Feral Stampede has three hits of stiffness on it now. It, it used to be a lot of hits of stiffness. Now it's only down to three, which is wild. So now, you see, like I'm not playing with you. It's only three hits of stiffness that is only applied. If you guys count the amount of immunes on this, you're gonna notice that this only has three hits of stiffness. Meanwhile, our ground lift has four if you put it on hotbar. It only has two if you cancel into it, which is wild, okay? Which is just freaking wild. And this is why people are running the core ground lift because if you just slowly go right here and you're like all right do this this is a 360 stiffen around you okay so if you're trying to fight like a ninja or something and they block jump behind you and you know they're gonna block jump you can just throw out a ground lift and it stiffens bro it stiffens all the way out here and you know what's even crazier is that it leaves you protected too so there is not a gap whenever people get stiffened by it and it's an easy follow-up for you to either get the drop kick of the sentry or get the grab off after the stiffen. So this is why all these Zerkers are using the the core ground lift and it's actually ridiculously good. It just requires a little bit of thinking because now you have to actually manually play Zerker a little bit more slow and in pocket as like a melee, you know, you know, grappler instead of like a cannoner from, you know, 2,000 miles away with your Titan Blow now. So now you can play a more aggressive build with Zerker and actually get catches with the stuns and the, the floating from actually doing hot bar ground lift. It is such an ingenious way to like catch people now. And you know what? People do not expect it because they don't expect it. 360, four multi hit. It's a four multi-hit protected CC that is stronger than our Feral Stampede. Like, our Feral Stampede is way more... Like, ah, dude, that puts Feral Stampede to shame now. And I thought Feral Stampede was, like, the best CC move that we could use against people who are iframing a lot. No, it's, it's, it's hot bar ground lift now, dog. It's literally hot bar ground lift. If they don't get hit by the, the, the stun, they get hit by the floating. If they don't get hit by the stun, or they don't get hit, I mean, not the stun, but the stiffness, or the floating, you get a protection, and it's easy to cancel out of. Another thing, too, is that you also have a little bit more of innovation to actually cancel into ground lift. So, what I mean by that is that you could actually ground lift out of ultimate evasion. So, you could go, I mean, you could ground lift out of evasion. You see right here? You can't ground lift out of evasion, okay? You can't. But you could ground lift from evasion with the hot bar, which is wild. So what I've been doing, and I and I will show some clips, is that I've been going like this, ground lift. And it is the most out-of-pocket thing that people are not expecting from Zerkers. 
and you can actually catch it very often. So yeah, let's go look at some clips. I'm going to show you guys some clips. I'm going to slow it down for you guys. And you guys are actually going to see it be in practice, okay? So let's watch some clips. Okay, so now we are basically on my YouTube channel on one of the VODs of our live streams. Right now I'm fighting a ninja or what, a, or a very iframe heavy class. I literally forgot. This was like about a week ago. So, right here, here's a perfect example of ground lifting actually catching an iframe rat class. So right now I'm fighting a ninja, okay? He ends up just engaging me and I end up just throwing out a ground lift almost immediately. So right here, I frontal block, I shake off. I'm going to pretend to do a devastation so I can slow him so he can back off. So he, he respects the, the devastation, okay? So usually I know that ninjas want to iframe in and try to get behind you with the block jump immediately after you are done with the devastation. Because you only have like basically three options from a devastation. Either you giant leap, you lava piercer, or you shake off. This one I did a shake off so I could bait him into iframing behind me. So right here I shake off and then I instantly go into my protected four hit stiffen CC ground lift. Okay, and he gets caught by it. So we can replay it like that. There you go, shake off in, throw out my ground lift, he gets stiffened right there. So he ended up iframing all this only just to get hit by the last hit of the stiffen. And then I follow it up with a juicy combo. Obviously it doesn't kill because these these uh, new changes are kind of weird and I'm still trying to figure out what is the best crystal build for BA practice. But whatever, we end up just picking it up and continuing the fight. And so now we're just continuing the fight. And it keeps on continuing to the point where I go right here. I'm almost out of stamina. So I'm just going to expect to get wrecked really soon. So I end up shake offing and just lingering at ground lift so I can recover some stamina. And he ends up block jumping me immediately right here. And he gets stiffened by it. So now I'm out of stamina. I'm just like, I'm most likely going to get juked out. You know, I missed a grab right there. Reposition with time to rock. And I'm just like, dude, I'm out of stamina. I need to recover. Ends up getting block jump, but I was already in ground lift, and the stiffen hits him. And then from right here, instantly just give him the kick of the century, you know, send him to Narnia, and that is basically the fight. So this is why you use ground lifting for small scale fights, because it's a four hit stiffen, bro. That is better than our Feral Stampede. So you guys use this. In PvP, bro, this is kind of big. It blew my mind. Once I got these two clips, I was like, bro, this is the greatest thing in the world. And I'm not used to, what's that called, the way how to cancel into it first. But I'm pretty sure once I get used to it and I get it down locked, bro, you're going to be coming up with some crazy CC, like, traps or, like, basically some crazy movement that leaves you protected and also aggressive at the same time. It, it's so weird that this is way better than our Feral Stampede. I really hope this doesn't get nerfed and it just flies underneath the radar. I know everyone's looking into Zerka right now as the, the boogeyman of AOS and it should get, you know, nerfed. But that's Succession Zerka, bro. I really hope they don't look into Awakening Zerker because right now, like, we're kind of, we're kind of, we're kind of cooking right now, you know? We're kind of cooking it, bro. So, let's just keep it up, man. You guys, I give you the information. You guys teach me in the future. And this is how exactly how I learned about this. I know it's another skill that we have to hotbar. And you're just like, oh, another skill we have to hotbar. But you know what? Hey, man. This is actually worth it to hotbar. I give you guys really good examples. I showed you guys a couple of clips of me fighting people. NBA, not just, like, people that are, you know, paid actors to, to fight me. No, this is just random people in NBA. And then, yeah, man, like, do of it as you will. If you guys are looking into more Zerker content, I'm your guy. Or just BDO content in general. But yes, I do focus on teaching Awakening Zerkers how to play. If you guys want to follow me, you know, go for it, man. I stream Mondays through Thursdays on Twitch and on YouTube. So whichever platform you like, I'm going to be there. And I appreciate you guys watching my videos. Thank you.